Great story. I was uh, involved with Floor Rope Square for about 10 years. Yes, and about 10 years ago, I met a group called the Keister Family Fiddlers. Oh my and God. I met Sherry, the mom. I met the dad. I met the kids. This is like 10, 11 years ago. And these girls are and fantastic. They're still performing. They're still and performing they're right and they're amazing. Here, Thanks Sherry, for coming amazing. on, girls. Thank you. They are so Thank amazing. You. Oh, um, do you want to introduce the clan? Because there is a clan okay, here. Okay, so we've got Quinn, we've got Faith. We've got Paige and... Say it. Claire. Claire. <laughs> I'm <work>. sorry. <laughs> but so I know good. Sherry really well. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there girls, I mean, wow, you're growing up right before oh, yeah. our eyes. Yeah. You've been doing this for nine years. This is your ninth stampede. And that's been the biggest comment we've had this mm. stampede is so many people have said, we can't believe how quickly they're growing up. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they're young ladies. This is your idea. Yeah, kind of, I guess. Yeah. Like we, uh, so Quinn and Claire started playing the piano when they were five and four, and then Show -offs. when Quinn had the piano mastered, she thought it was time for another instrument. So we said, okay, let us know what that might be. And Leahy Aww. was big at the time, and so she thought fiddle. So off she went with fiddle lessons. We had a really young, energetic teacher, and all the other sisters couldn't wait to take fiddle lessons. That's so, incredible. And then when people booked us for uh, anniversaries, birthday parties, it just kind you of evolved you had from something. there. I, yeah, I you know what? Story. They all seem to really, really enjoy this, and they've really honed their craft. And of course, you and your husband have been standing by them through this whole time, taking them really all around the world to represent the Cal Calgary Stampede we as well. Yes, yeah. So yeah, congratulations! We so thank on that. you. No, it's been great. Quinn, I mean, you've been hanging out with your your sisters for so many years. I mean, you know, there's always that sibling rivalry that goes on. What kind of relationship do you have with your sisters? Well, I think we have a really great w relationship with each other because we spend so much time together. Yeah. We've had to overcome those sister rivalries while we're on stage and things like that. We've learned to hide it really well while we're performing as well, so it's kind of funny, but yeah, no, we have a great relationship, I think. Yeah. Well, the they music speak, speaks for itself, and we can't wait to hear you play. You go ahead. Uh, we just say, Sherry, do you want to join the, the show? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Sherry on guitar? Um, you'll see them everywhere way. throughout the course of the Stampede. I mean, there's so many different events that these ladies are a part of. Yeah, and of course, Rope Square is one of those yeah. main venues that you can you can be caught in the act, if you will. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. What is it? What are you, um, okay. what song are you singing for us? Uh, it's called Old Joe Clark. <laughs> Old Joe Clark. I can't wait. When, whenever you're ready. Okay, five, six.
round and around. That was, <laughs> that was fantastic. Great work. It's like they've been doing it for a while yeah, or something. Yeah. Keister Family Fiddlers, you guys will be around Stampede. Look for these ladies. Uh, thank you again, Sherry, for bringing in the girls. Thank you so much. Uh, amazing. Truly Wonderful. amazing. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Yeah. Our pleasure. Yeah. Uh, well, one of the things that's kind of cool, too, when you think about the cowboy spirit, if you will, how about cowboy poetry? It's more, yeah. more, actually more popular than you think. Yeah. We had that's a chance really to. Yeah. Oh, wait till you see this. Check it out. On Saddle Up. She seems to know what's up ahead before it comes in sight and tells me when it's timely to turn left or turn right. Well, I'm BJ Smith and I'm doing my best to be retired, but it isn't working out too well. So I train horses and I pack, uh, pack trips in the mountains and I play around quite a bit with cowboy poetry. Why she'd keep me on the straight and narrow and never get me lost and I'd be glad to have her no matter what she costs. Poetry is really handy when you're working with, with livestock, believe it or not. There is a reason why cowboys and poets kind of work together because if you can keep livestock quiet when you're working with them, you'll be much more successful. And uh, I got into the habit of making my talk rhyme so as I could remember it. And uh, so that's where cowboy poetry started for me. It's many years ago. On I turned her switch because they told me at that gadget store she'd work without a glitch. Well, I'm not that old, but I was born an awful long time ago, and I did get to drive horses when I was a youngster, and uh, so that's where I, I kind of got the, the bug for horses. So Duke is, um, he's a pretty special horse to me. He's very good on the trail, and uh, we're, we're having a real good time together. He and I. I draw my inspiration from nature, and how amazing it is that everything has a purpose and things fit together. And I get to see an awful lot of that horseback. Well, that's when that unfamiliar, unexpected female sound caught that colt's attention and he promptly left the ground. Well, I pick up my mail in Andyang, Alberta. And Andyang is kind of midway between Stetler and Hannah. It's uh, one of those little places that's just pretty much a, a little coffee shop and a, and a post office. And I live just outside that, and uh, I have a place where I've, it's heaven for horses. There's lots of grass and lots of room to work with them and play around there quite a bit. Cowboys are, and cowgirls are folks that know how to do things that are tough to do and not give up and uh, support each other and, and uh, work hard and play hard. And uh, the Calgary Stampede and the way that the city of Calgary gets behind it, I think is indicative of the cowboy way of, of life. So I, I'm happy that the Stampede brings that, that persona to the entire world. When you see that video, it's so peaceful, so calming, and you can understand the guy with the Lanny McDonald mustache. <laughs> he did have is, that, didn't he? It's so, so yeah. very, very famous. And thank you very much sure. for, uh, for being a part of our show as well here on Saddle Up. You know, I want to touch a little bit about these pancake breakfasts. That There's have been going a lot on. of them. Eh? There have been a lot of yeah. them, but I'm finding that they're no longer just about the pancakes and you the know, sausages. A, what a great There's, point, Shiva. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, really there's is. so much more involved. Yeah. Like we find out in this next story, Hall Family Service has recently had their pancake breakfast, mm. and there's so much more to it than just a breakfast. So true. this actually uh, 27 years ago by ourselves. So now it's a beautiful partnership between ourselves, Lions Club and Wood Creek Association. So 27 years of, uh, and we started off so small, probably originally we might have had a few hundred people, and it just grown by thousands every year. Last year it was getting close to 6,000 people. So that's a, that's a lot of pancakes, okay? So my wrist hurts after. Really what we are is a, is a behavioral mental health agency, that's what we deal with. We deal with behavioral mental health issues of children. And our wish is a, in terms of a vision is that eventually maybe there will be no children with mental health issues. And that's really what we want to see. We've been uh, providing services for uh, the community for about 53 years. And uh, where this stampede uh, breakfast is situated is where we started uh, historically 53 years ago as a residential treatment program. A lot of people coming together, a lot of organizations coming together makes this happen. 
And we really want to make this really kid-friendly, as you can see, and lots of people from the community. This, this campus has been here for a number of decades, and it's a part of the community here in Calgary. The community's grown up around Hull services and the, the services that they provide the community and to provide kids from Southern Alberta. J.R. Shaw, our founder, has uh, been involved with Hull for a number of years, and he's the one who's really the leading force as to why Shaw is a part of this uh, organization, and there's the Shaw uh, contributions that we've made over the last 14 years. It's, it's, it's been an honor to stand behind what they're doing and donate a million and a half dollars to the work that they've done, and to be a, be a part of this fantastic uh, part of Calgary.